Dr. Jimenez, can you tell me a bit about the journey, how you came to meet these three students? Well, this journey starts around uh, late 2009. It was a beautiful fall day. I was sitting in my office and I get this email and it's from three students uh, at Old School Night and uh, it says we want to do a project for the Sanofi Aventus Biotown Challenge and uh, it says, well, here is the proposal, you know, and it's a rather unusual uh, and so I looked at this proposal, and I was just absolutely amazed at uh, the, uh, the clarity and the uh, richness of ideas that it contained. Uh, and so uh, I uh, decided that we should have these three students come and work in the lab, and which they did for a period of five months or so, once a week. And they worked with David McNabish, who's my uh, senior technologist. And, uh, um, you know, the project really began to kick off and uh, they presented this work at the uh, Sanofi Aventus Biotalent Challenge and uh, the results were promising enough that uh, we actually uh, wrote a grant, a small grant, a research grant to the University Hospital Foundation extending this work and uh, it was funded. It was considered to be very meritorious. And so this year, Vishnu is back in the lab and he's continuing this work in collaboration with uh, Dr. Arty Patel, who's the host of the project. And uh, you know, it's just been an amazing uh, journey. And uh, uh, I can't say enough about these three students in terms of their commitment, motivation, and really just their uh, uh, ideas and imagination. And Vishnu, how do you feel about being in Dr. Jermendez's lab this summer, continuing the research that you started in high school? It's definitely a great feeling, because I mean, uh, the project that we started back in high school actually had good enough results to, uh, for me to come back and continue this research, so it's definitely an interesting experience. And it's helping me a lot in university as well, because it's getting me more accustomed to the lab, so definitely a great experience. And Calvin, could you tell me a bit about the gist of the research? research was, uh, in, term, in terms of the research, we just searched through um, research articles on, on, uh, online, and we basically highlighted certain, certain things that seemed interesting to us, uh, and we also based all our research on Alzheimer's, which was our main objective. And the, and the research looks a bit at M MMT9 and a history yes, yes, we were looking at how to really... Um, if we could stimulate production of MMP9 through um, injection of histamine into brain cells, astrocytes, through rat cells and human cells. And Eunice, can you tell me a bit about why the three of you love science so much? Where does your passion come from? Um, we've always had a passion for science, and it's just amazing to see just how us high school students, we're, um, we think we're so small, we think we can't really do much, but just looking here and just being able to work in a lab just makes us all the more um, confident about our skills and how we can even contribute into the scientific world. And it's just amazing to see how um, science is always evolving. There's always new things to discover. And us being in the lab, we see so many new things um, just being made and being implemented into this society and just to help people. It's an amazing thing to see the progress of it all. Thank you.